Welcome to the channel again. It's me, your host, Amy from Pandventure, and we have another review, a Visconti review. I don't know about you, but for myself, when I say Visconti, it stands for innovation, evolution, and pretty much new and interesting designs regarding writing instruments. And I just love their approach on improving some of their designs, making new pants, interesting shapes, very interesting materials. And today we have on the review table the latest member of the Visconti Lava Color Homo Sapiens collection. First of all, we did a review on the Lava Color Homo Sapiens. I'm gonna try to link the video up here. You can check this, but don't go there yet because in this video, I'm gonna show you the latest one that's released in the series, a new color. We are going to go briefly into the details because let's face it, it's another Homo Sapiens and pretty much some of the things are similar to other Homo Sapiens that we reviewed on the channel. I wanna tell you what's different from others. I'm gonna show you the other colors of the Homo Sapiens Lava collection. And we have here three members. Each of them look just stunning. Let's go through some of the colors. This red, which is called Terra di Siena, ash white, this one in the middle, and tough. 2021 marked a new member in this collection and we have it right here in this box. I'm gonna show you some of the elements of the packing, then we will go into some of the details briefly, then we will have a side-by-side -side size comparison, writing sample, and in the end, I'm gonna share my opinion regarding this member, this collection, this pen model, and we are going to end the video. Let's go, because we don't want to waste any time. This is the box. It's blacked out Visconti on the lid. We open the lid and this pen rests we have the fountain pen and under here you would supposed to get the warranty card and all of the information of this collection. I don't have it right here in this box. Let me put everything aside and I'm going to show you the fountain pen in details. This is the beautiful Visconti Homo Sapiens Lava Color Blue Oro Mare. I don't know if it's pronounced like this. It's supposed to be translated to blue ultramarine. It's a very, very nice color and uh, something very funny. I think Visconti is a little bit late to the party because uh, I do remember once sending off my Bronze Age Homo sapiens to someone else in order to have some minor touch-ups to the nib and I actually sent the fountain pen inked with noodles basted blue. The ink splashed all over the fountain pen and I had a blue Homo sapiens. So basically, as a joke, Visconti did this fountain pen a little bit late because I already patented this design and color scheme. Anyway, let's get back to the subject of this review. We have the Lava Color Homo sapiens blue ultra marine right here. Let's go into some of the details. On top, we have in a very nice PVD coating, this Visconti MyPen system phenyl, and this is removable with a magnet. You can pretty much remove it and substitute this with zodiac signs, name initials. They do have some in black, which look very, very nice on this one. And you can go for uh, semi-precious stones. Then we have key features of the Homo sapiens line. The Ponte de Vecchio clip, which is laser engraved. It's in black. PVD coating, the two iconic rings, the cap, which is like in any other Homo sapiens. Anything that's different from the Homo sapiens line is going to be pointed out by myself in this review. And we have here the capping system. This is a magnetic cap. And this is different from the other Homo sapiens that feature the hook safe lock mechanism. This one is much more easy to uncap, but it's still safe. It will keep your fountain pen quite, quite strongly closed. You need a little bit of uh, pulling force in order to uncap this pen. So there is no uh, danger in carrying this fountain pen. But again, if you put it in a very, very tight pocket or sleeve, it can uncap if you pull the cap like this. Anyway, let's see 
what we have once we uncap the fondo pan. This is the gorgeous 14 karat gold nib by Visconti. It's in-house made. I don't know why some of you are shying away of this 14 karat gold nib. I want to show you the writing sample and it is flawless. It's a touch more soft than the 18 karat gold nib from Visconti and it is a beautiful rider. The first thing that's very obvious is the color of the nib because this is not a silver shiny nib, it's black and uh, it's supposed to match the other trim parts of this fan pan which are PVD coated. I'm not sure if the nib is PVD coated but anyway it's a beautiful black subtle nib with a different imprint design on this nib from the 18 karat gold nib. This nib is available in the following sizes, extra fine, fine, medium, broad and a 1.3 millimeter stub. There isn't any price difference at the extra fine and also at the stub. Just like the 18 karat gold nib, this 14 karat gold nib from Visconti is powered by a ABS plastic feed and this nib is friction fitted together with the plastic ABS feed in a plastic housing forming the Visconti nib unit. This nib unit it's very easy to unscrew using the proper tools and uh, you can substitute this with a different Visconti nib unit because they are similar with the 18 karat gold nib ones and even with I think the 23 karat palladium dream touch nib. Don't quote me on that I haven't tried it yet. Different from other homo sapiens we have this ring right here near the section. I'm not sure if it has a certain function or if it's just aesthetic, but it looks very, very nice. And uh, we have the section shaped uh, quite, quite interesting. It's a subtle hour glass shape. It's not shiny in the way that it will make your fingers to slip or anything like this. You can still have a very, very nice grip on the section. This is the part which is supposed to feature the hook safe lock uh, grooves, but now it's just blank because we don't have that capping system. Possibly we have here the magnets. I'm not even sure but I think this black part right here it's also magnets in order to keep the nib tight in the capping system. I'm not sure. We have the iconic ring which is engraved with Homo sapiens. This PVD black ring right here. It is a very nice feature of the Homo sapiens which is iconic. Everything is starting from the barrel towards the piston knob. It is the same like in all Homo sapiens. What is different is the composition of this material. And let me explain. Visconti is very very familiar with innovation in departments like materials that are used in order to make fondo pans. And this lava, it's not actually lava, it's in part ashes from volcanic rock, grounded up volcanic rock, which is mixed with resin in order to form a very very strong and resilient material. In the Bronze Age that material is slightly moister absorbent. If you dip the Bronze Age Homo sapiens in some ink, you better wipe it clean off quickly because that ink can be absorbed into that material. On the lava color that's another story. On this collection they actually offered a hydrophobic layer to the material and the material is not going to stain. It's stain proof. That's a very very nice touch and uh, in the prior video when we reviewed the white one, the red one and the tough one I've showed you in the video how you can dip this fountain pen entirely in ink. You can pull it off from the ink well. It's going to be cleaned very, very quickly using a paper towel. There is no ink that will be absorbed into that material. So it's nice to know that this blue will remain blue just like the first day that you take this fountain pen from the case. Let's move to the filling system. And by now you know that Visconti is using the trademark filling system on their fondo pans and on the Homo sapiens we have the Power Vac. It is a very nice uh, filling system, a little bit more complicated than your usual cartridge converter but anyway quick and very easy explainable. It's using a piston that's going to travel up and down forming a vacuum behind. Ink will travel through the nib and feed into the pan barrel. That filling system has variations. So for example you would find out that we have double reservoir power filler which is a 
feature that will allow your uh, fun pen to be taken on a pressurized environment like for example in a plane and uh, you can uh, store the ink behind the piston and you don't have the possibility of uh, seeing your favorite shirt stained by burping ink from the fountain pen. This model doesn't feature the double reservoir, so we only have power filler. Well, this is the quick features of this amazing writing instrument, and uh, I would like to put it side by side with other fountain pens so you guys can grasp the overall proportions, dimensions. From there, we will move into the writing sample, which is going to be mwah, sweet. I'm going to show you how this 14 karat gold nib is riding. Here is the Visconti Lava Color, blue ultramarine, standing next to other pen models. From left to right, we have Stipula Etruria Alter Ego Celluloid, Pinator La Grande Bellezza Arco, Visconti Lava Color Homo Sapiens Blue Ultramarine, Visconti Opera Master Crystal, Scribo Feel Panarea, Montegrappa 1930 Extra Rosso. Here we have a caption with the same fountain pens uncapped. And what can I say regarding the Homo Sapiens Lava Color Blue Ultramarine is that it's a fountain pen that's quite practical. It's not super, super big and oversized, just like Opera Master, but it's still practical and it can be a great everyday writer. The fountain pen capped measures 146 millimeters, uncapped 133 millimeters, Posted 172 millimeters. The total weight of the fountain pen fully inked and capped is 57 grams and uncapped but fully inked is 31 grams. It is an impressive looking fountain pen. Nothing to say here. It's very very nicely associated this blue with the black trim, the filling system, the capping system. Everything gets worked to find fine dimensions. Everything fits together like a glove. The feeling, the tactile feeling. You expect that uh, when you price a fountain pen at nearly 600 euros, no taxes. But does it right? Let's find out. And I have here my good old trusty notebook. Of course, Tomoe River Paper 68 GSM. And uh, I have a beautiful, beautiful looking ink bottle from Visconti. Let's uh, fill this fountain pen with ink. This is how you actually fill the fountain pen with ink. Put the fountain pen in inked and you plunge it and that's it. As you can see, we have some ink smudges. There isn't any ink that's going to stain the material of the section. Let's close this filling system and let's see this 14 karat gold nib in action. So we have the pen and uh, this is the Visconti Lava Color Homo Sapiens. Beautiful, beautiful nib. The ink is Visconti blue. The nib is the 14 karat gold fine nib. And the paper is 68 GSM Tomoy River paper, TRP. Now, the wetness. And uh, this is a double pass and it is a very, very wet nib. And uh, you can uh, pretty much see that it's close to a 23 karat palladium dream touch nib in regards of flow. So it's a gusher. Nice, nice nib. Normal figure of eights. And I wouldn't call this a very Japanese nib. Fine nib. Anyway, it writes like a skinny medium, but it is very, very pleasant flex and let's push this nib a little bit. As you can see, it offers a little bit of line variation. It's maybe 10 to 20% more flexy and soft than the 18 karat gold nib. Now, the most important sentence in any pen reviewer existence. 
like that. Quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. This is a wonderful, wonderful riding nib. Don't shy away from the 14 karat gold nib because you don't know what you're missing. The 14 karat gold nib is a bit more soft than the 18 karat gold nib. It's bouncy, it's wet, it's playful, it has a hint of a feedback, nothing unpleasant, and it is a great riding nib right from the box. Let me share some of my personal opinions regarding this collection. First of all, the color. Blue is a very, very popular color and I just love that they went with the blue in regards to this fountain pen. I think it is an impressive looking fountain pen and it goes very, very well with the black trims that are PVD coated. I'm gonna use the other fountain pens and put them side by side right here and you guys can pretty much see the entire collection, the Lava Color collection right here. The red, the blue, the white, and the tough. I love where Visconti headed this collection, and I really think it's a nice alternative, very practical alternative to a Homo sapiens. Pretty much, you can take this fountain pen with you at the office if you have a lot of notes, and uh, it's important for you to uncap and cap the fountain pen very often. This is the one to have because it's very easy to uncap and to use this fountain pen, and I really think it's a very big step forward towards functionality. Don't get me wrong, I love the hook safe lock mechanism, but if you use this fountain pen in an office environment or anywhere else when you are needed to uncap and cap the fountain pen, I think it's a very nice way taking advantage of that fact. The 14 karat gold nib of this collection is the star. Don't get me wrong, I love the 18 karat gold nib, but I don't think you guys are going to lose anything if we are going to open ourselves to trying the 14 karat gold nibs. I think they are a little bit more cheaper, or at least they uh, lower the price of uh, the writing instrument, which makes it a lot more appealing to anyone who has a budget. It offers very nice performances, it's wet, quite smooth, hint of a feedback. It's a little bit more softer, playful. You guys seem to love this, and I do as well. Well, that's kind of it in regards of my personal opinions, uh, and uh, you can find this Homo sapiens lava color available on our website together with its siblings, the collection from uh, 2020, last year. It's available down below. I will leave you the link to all of these colors for this fountain pen, and uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you think of this incredible writing instrument. If you have questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll be quick to answer. Thank you for spending your time with me on the Penventure YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you find it useful, you can help me by hitting the thumbs up. This will increase our reach and uh, it will help with the YouTube algorithm. If you're not subscribed to the Penventure YouTube channel, you can do that right now by clicking here and turn the notification bell on. And if you want to see more quality content from Penventure and myself, you have this video right here. My name is Amy and I'll forward seeing you next video. Take care, stay safe, stay strong, enjoy, bye bye.